Hey everybody, this is Rich. Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia. Coming to you from Prime One, Springfield, Missouri. At the mothership. And uh, it's been an interesting um, pretty interesting trip. Um, last time we talked was I was in Collins, Mississippi going to Sanderson Farm and uh, we hauled some uh, I don't know what the hell it was chicken assholes or something so uh, here's a clip from down there at Sanderson's Farm uh, with some of the juice check it out there is one of these juicy loads yeah and then we met a uh yeah, you know, it's always <laughs> it's always nice running into uh, people. And I say other other prime drivers, but it was down there at that Sanderson farm, and I ran into uh, the young gentleman in a blue Peterbilt, and uh, he walked up to me, and here's a clip from that. And I was sliding my tandems, and this uh, young man. Walked up to me and he told me that he watched my channel. He appreciates the content I put so, out. So, me and, and uh, Chris, Chris, we was going to get with each other up up here when we when I delivered in Joplin. Um, that didn't work out. So, uh, we left here. I hung out here for 34. Took my safety class. They rolled out and then. Uh, there's an event on the 20th. Uh, a female friend of mine. Um, I'm going to be her plus one to what is the Diamond Highway Diamonds Gala, Gala, whatever they call it. So they they uh, kept me Midwest Regional, basically, you know, Wisconsin to Illinois, Illinois to Indiana, Illinois to Illinois, and shit like that and then haven't had too much trouble with the Freightliner had a cherry tube at home time uh, one a couple home times ago wasn't a bad uh, truck went to the shop while I was at home time warranty um, got a load out to Mobley, Missouri Walmart DC got an empty and uh, got a uh, pre-plan go to Milan to Smithfield Heading out to Wisconsin, and when I parked, um, I actually uh, come out of the loves from a shower, and my dome light wasn't working correctly. So I I uh, turned the truck on, maybe to reset with the ignition or whatever, and my windshield wipers were going ape shit. And come to find out, it said stalk switch right error. Um, so Country Trucker Brad, when he was on the driver lineup, Freightliner, AKA the prime suspect, right before he started training me, um, that, um, they had, him and Eric had it switched out, happened twice. Um, what it is, it's like a component in the stalk switch, which is the Jake brake and the gear selection, um, lever, uh, something in there gets wonky and they have the warranty will change it out so uh, it happened to me up there in uh, Beaver Bevere, Missouri at that Loves, I got with Brad Brad said, you know, he suggested that I not take that load from um, Milan to out to Wisconsin uh, just for the sake of it, if it does it again and it will do it again and um, if it doesn't start, then that's a tow bill, and then I'm under a load, and then it just it turns into a shitstorm snowball after that. So I told dispatch to take it off of me. I was gonna I'm gonna head into Springfield to get it fixed, and that's exactly what I did. I headed down to Springfield to the Freightliner dealer the next morning. They switched it out. Um, waited about three hours in line over there, but once I got in the bay. The guy was real nice. I can't remember his name. Over at Division Street in Springfield. Real nice people. Got me in and got me out the fastest they could. 
Um, made myself available for the next morning. Uh, called up with Twisted Big D uh, to uh, get a little little dinner. And I was at dinner the uh, driver lineup uh, sent me, uh, called me, and asked me if I was willing to take a load. They got dropped on them on the yard. I said, yeah, why not? It was going to Wichita, Kansas. And then I went from uh, Wichita to Emporia, Emporia over to Kansas City, and then uh, come back down to Springfield. So here I am, back at Springfield. Um, so, you know, I, I do stress about if you have the opportunity to run a lane like the Midwest Regional or Southeast or any kind of lane that you haven't been familiar with, I strongly suggest run it because... Uh, you know, you might, well, you'll learn some things about that area, about some more customers. And uh, it was very, uh, revenue wasn't extremely high, but I wasn't worried about it. Again, I'm set up to where, you know, I'm not pressed about having to have a three, $4,000 um, settlement to my bank every week. But it'd be nice. And I know, I know it will come back. So it's been, uh, you know, Nah, let's see, it's been at, you know, it's pretty anywhere from 12 to 15 to 2,000, like 2,200. So, again, if you're set up properly, you should be able to withstand some of that. And because I have good, uh, good people around me, I really um, am really set up for, you know, taking that hit. So, back in Springfield, just want to touch base with you guys. Uh, saw Chris this morning, the same guy. He's in for training, I guess. Um, he's going to hit the road. So, uh, real nice kid. I saw a cow in the how old he is, but a real nice, real nice guy. They're really nice, really humble, really nice. So, uh, other than that, that's about it. We're going to catch up with some people. And we are just chilling. Got to an event. So, uh, anyway, guys, you know, I know this, this video wasn't much. Just a little bit of an update. I really don't have any kind of information just another little step in the journey. Um, oh, the stock switch. So if you're, you know, say you're shut down at, and you, your stock switch error happens, uh, turn your, if your truck has a battery disconnect switch down by the seat on the Freightliner, turn it off for, I don't know, 20 minutes, a half hour, turn it back on and your, your problem should go away. But keep in mind, that's only going to last until the switch actually takes the proverbial shit and you will have to get towed and there's about a thousand maybe fifteen hundred dollar bill that you can avoid by really being proactive if it starts fucking up get into a dealer get with road assist get into a dealer and get that shit taken care of save yourself some uh some money um on the back end by being you know proactive So, uh, oh, I got my, uh, I got some, uh, some safety and on time awards today. Right here they are. Got a hat and a button up shirt. Pretty proud of that stuff. It's, uh, being on time and safe. My next award, um, it's going to come in and sometime. March 26th I think so uh, Freightliners again just a couple little things here and there but we are really taking the next step while we're in town and we are going to do something that my plan was to do when I come to Prime but I kind of veered off that but talking to some uh, some older guys some 
veterans here at Prime made my mind up and I'm going to pull the trigger. So we'll announce that after a bit. So guys, thanks for sticking with me. Like, share, subscribe. Share with your friends and family. And we do share with them. Tell them the best barbecue and the best truck driver comes from the river. And we'll see you on the next one.